I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yes, concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. Hey, are you looking for eggs too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Okay, well, if I see any of those, I'll tell you. And you can tell me if you find any eggs. Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. I'm afraid, due to recent legislative action, I'm no longer able to allocate ships. I can, however, deal in general goods. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? Oh, really? Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? I could, but I did pay for it. I'd like to recover my losses. And it's all the way in the back room. I'd have to walk back there, then back out here. You did say this was important after all. Honestly, it's probably worth way more than what we're talking about. Pleasure doing business with you. You mean besides providing a pleasant face for customers to interact with? It's all in the name. We distribute materials and products all around the United Colonies. Never a dull moment. Always something going on and four other things we need to be ready for. I know some people don't believe it, but we really do the best we can. Wouldn't still be working here if I didn't care. Back to it then. I can't get enough of all the trees around here. I appreciate your assistance, but I still need all of those sensors. So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these, and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right, we'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. And just another moment. Oh, 
It is working, isn't it? Ah, uh, there it is. What a relief. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it, it's... Oh, my. This data... Well, it's alarming to say the least. Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Yes, it does feel good to be right. Particularly when others have attempted to convince you otherwise. Repeatedly. The bad news, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be... Well, disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. Huh. Well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I hadn't expected to run into you again. Indeed I am. The success of my previous venture, with which you so kindly assisted, has been brought to the attention of Mast. There is growing concern. Oh my. A bit of an unintentional pun, isn't that? Well, concern that things are going to get worse. The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. We don't know when or even if this will stop. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time. While I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, well, none of them are good. I am attempting to formulate one, yes. But until I have all of the relevant information, it is impossible to do so. There is data regarding other, younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring it. <clears throat> per per personnel issues, if you understand me. What? No, that is ridiculous. I am a professional. One of the other researchers in MAST, Emilio Hadek, has research I believe could be vital to my work here. He and I don't see eye to eye, and so far he's refused to turn it over to me. I'm hoping that if someone else were to ask, he might be more inclined to relinquish it. What do you say? He's held a grudge against me for years. It's petty, really. I'm sure he thinks that doing this now will hold back my career. He wouldn't listen when I tried to explain this isn't about me. There are bigger concerns. Oh, thank you. At last I knew he was on a field assignment somewhere near the outskirts of the city. Uh, perhaps it's best if you don't mention my name in the process? I'll talk to you tomorrow. Can't wait. Of all the assignments they could have given me. Could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. Freeze. Uh, I see what's going on here. You're working with Kelton, aren't you? Nice try, but it's not happening. No. No way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's no chance that I'm helping him with anything. Whatever this thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher-ups. I'm not helping him with that. Kelton screwed me over good. Probably ruined my chances for advancing in MAST. I'm not going to forgive that. 
ever. Yeah, yeah, that's all very touching. But cathartic or not, my career would still be in flames. Uh, he really won't let this go, will he? Hmm, maybe I can make this work in my favor. Okay, you know what? I'll hand over the data. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in MAST. Oh, don't worry. You're just going to erase some files for me. Make sure I look good next time promotions get passed around. Wait, really? Wow. Okay. Okay! I've gotten a few bad performance evaluations in the last couple of years. Totally unjustified, incredibly unfair. I found a backdoor into the mass network so I could make some changes to my personnel file. But it turns out the chief engineer knows what she's doing. The only way to get access is from the terminal in her apartment, which is kind of... locked. Only if someone catches you doing it. Just get in, access her terminal, delete the files, and get out. Really simple. Between you and me? As little as possible. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. I worked really, really hard at my job. Studied in computational bioscience, did some time in agrogenetics. Uh, these days, I just help out wherever I can. Waiting for a good opportunity, maybe an opening in administration. You know how it goes. At least you're a distraction from work. Oh, don't worry about it. It's just, uh, pretty much everything in my personnel file. Most of it is fine, of course. I'm good at what I do. I just received a few very unfair reviews recently, and I figure... Why not start over completely? Not much experience with government bureaucracy, huh? The mass network is running off hardware that is decades old. They don't upgrade anything unless it's absolutely necessary. This will just be one entry in a long list of mild annoyances that aren't worth following up on. It's kind of amazing, really. Best of luck out there. If it isn't Kelton's little errand runner. You have some good news for me? They sure are. I took a peek on the network, saw that things have updated. Great job. You came through for me, so now I'll do the same for you. This slate has all the data Kelton needs. Hand it over to him, stuff it down his throat. It's all the same to me. I tried to tell my colleagues that botany was important. I tried to warn them. I hope you have the data. It's really quite crucial. You're absolutely right. I don't want to know. I'm sorry if this was complicated. I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details in the event that it comes up later, particularly in a legal setting. And I suppose I'd better verify the data to make sure Emilio didn't double-cross me. But you have once again come through for me. I'm truly hoping that this is the last piece I need to figure out what we can do. And I appreciate it. Thank you for your assistance. Oh, I was hoping we might run into one another again. Your timing is most fortuitous. I'm on the verge of something, but... I don't quite have all the information I need. You have no idea how much I appreciate that, truly. Of course, now that I understand more about what's going on, it seems plain as day. And yet I never would have imagined it before. The tertiary trunks have also liquefied their interiors, but they're not vibrating. I thought perhaps it was some sort of defect, but it's much simpler. They're listening. I don't, not for sure. It's all a theory, certainly, but it is completely supported by the data and observation, like all good science. 
It's the best we have to go on right now. It means it is ready to reproduce. I believe this tree is sending vibrations out over massive distances and expecting to detect sympathetic vibrations in return. As of yet, there's been no response. I suspect that will not change, that a response is impossible, and that's very, very bad news. We're continuing to see an increase in the strength and frequency of the vibrations. I don't know how much more significant it'll become. If there's no response, the tree may vibrate itself and some nearby portion of the city to destruction. Now, as of yet, there has been no response, and clearly none of the nearby individuals are a correct match. While it can't be ruled out that the intended recipient of these messages was cut down during the city's expansion, there is one other possibility. Over a hundred years ago, the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective emerged from the Narian War. As a gesture of peace and goodwill, a near-literal olive branch, one of the trees from New Atlantis, was offered to the leaders of Aquila City. Certainly wouldn't have been my first suggestion. Something about the common roots of humanity or some such. Politicians and their metaphors. Of course you can't just uproot a native species and plunk it down on some other planet in a totally different environment and expect it to grow. Clearly no exobotanists were consulted ahead of time. The end result was wholly predictable. The tree died within a few short years. I'm sorry, I'll get to the point. The tree died, yes, but branches were kept. At least one still exists in the museum there in the city. If I had that branch, I could get DNA samples and then using various data I've gathered, I could attempt to simulate a response. We could then broadcast that response and hopefully calm down our friend here. But as I say, I need that branch. I'm afraid I can't be two places at once, and I have too much going on here. The museum in Aquila City is under the supervision of one Miss Kassler, I'm told. I don't know anything about her, but hopefully she'll be willing to listen to reason and assist our cause. All right, off you go. We don't have any time to waste. Hi. Please feel free to have a look around. It's the reason I started this place. I have artifacts that date all the way back to the time of Solomon Coe himself. Very well. People are proud of their history here, so we get more visitors than I was expecting. So it gets pretty busy here, especially with school field trips. Aquila City was founded over 150 years ago by Solomon Coe, a scientist and explorer from Earth. Along with other settlers, Coe built the structures you see in the part of the city we call the core. Those proud buildings still stand today. The planet was dangerous, so they built a wall around their settlement. Eventually, they ran out of space and started building outside the wall. There were so many buildings that they had to build another, larger wall, forming a second outer ring around the growing city. Of course, the city didn't stop growing, and before long, the third wall, the outer wall you see today, was constructed. Today, Aquila City is the proud capital of the Free Star Collective, and the Council of Governors continues to meet here when they need to. Most people know Solomon Coe as the founder of Aquila City and the father of the Free Star Collective. He was an astrophysicist who lived on Earth in a place called Wyoming. Solomon was born around the time people first started living in space. Later in life, he designed starships, and when Earth was in peril, those ships helped to save humanity by taking them to new homes in the stars. The bravery and heroism it took to save humanity. Whew. Goosebumps. During the Great Exodus, Solomon came to this world. He named our star Cheyenne, which was also a place on Earth, and gave Aquila its name too. He and some others built the settlement that would go on to become Aquila City, and his descendants still live here today. There are some things I would kill to have. I mean, wait, <laughs> not literally. 
but I would pay a lot for. You see, the Cove family lost a treasure trove of old historic documents ages ago, and those documents would be priceless to have here. Well, all of them were owned by our city's founder, Solomon Coe. He's more than that, really. He's one of the greatest heroes of the settled systems. These documents would be, like I said, priceless to the museum and to our guests. Their absence pains me. Jacob Coe and I have talked at length, and his great-grandfather was a troubled man. He sold off various historic documents to cover debts. They could be anywhere. If you find any of that trove of documents, I will pay dearly for it. Thank you. Think of the future generations that could benefit from seeing such important history. That is not something I expected to hear today. I assume you're somehow associated with the United Colonies? I've received some odd messages of late. Several that bordered on being incomprehensible. Honestly, I thought it was some kind of strange prank until now. A bunch of gibberish about dire consequences and frequency modulation and genetic reconstruction. It all came across as rather unhinged. Well, I'm afraid you've wasted your time because I'm not authorized, nor particularly inclined, to release any of our pieces. That includes hundred-year-old tree branches. Sorry, but it's staying in storage. Welcome to the Co Heritage Museum. I offer a brief tour and I'm happy to discuss the city's history as well. I hear what you're saying, but I'm afraid it's out of the question. Handing over that branch is starting to look pretty good. I guess it couldn't hurt. Yeah, I hope so. I can't believe I'm doing this. Please return it in one piece. I hope Aquila City has what we need. Have you paid a visit to Miss Castler in Aquila City? Yes, yes, of course. I'll see that it is returned to her in one piece. Well, perhaps minus a few shavings. Now, I just need a moment to analyze this and synthesize an audio response to our friend here. All right, so we'll feed in a sample. Now the program will incorporate the genetic and chemical makeup of the sample, extrapolating the size and structure of the original tree. This was put together rather hastily, so complete accuracy is impossible. But I'm hoping it's enough. And there it is. Our best hope for a positive solution to this mess. So, we now have a simulated response to our tree. All that's left is to play it. An excellent question. I have been wondering myself. I've been forced to listen to this SSNN kiosk chatter incessantly this entire time. I think it could be put to better use. We don't have time to go through the proper channels, but if you can find a terminal and get this uploaded into their system, it might do the trick. Then I fear all this hard work will be for naught. I would hate to see this tree come down. But we may be out of options. Perhaps, but desperate times, and all that. Certainly, if you have some other option, by all means, take advantage of it. But if not, well, this is our only option at the moment. I have no doubt that you will. Administrations come and go in the big city, but SSNN is here to stay. We've done it! I'm already seeing reductions in the strength of the vibrations. The tree is calming down. I can hardly believe that worked. I don't know! We've been in uncharted territory this whole time. That doesn't stop now. With the immediate crisis hopefully over, I can slow down and review everything we've learned. And certainly, I'll be keeping a much closer eye on our friend going forward. 
And you, you have saved this tree and advanced our scientific knowledge of our environment. Noble work across the board. You have my gratitude and that of every citizen in New Atlantis, though they don't know it. Personally, I think daylight's overrated. I get by just fine. Happy to make a deal. You need stuff, I need credits. It all works out. Look around, you tell me. You see it's a big organization. A lot of planets, a lot of people, a whole lot to keep track of. Sometimes they don't do such a good job of that. Sometimes stuff falls through the cracks winds up collecting dust in some warehouse. But that's all right, because I, and by extension you, get to benefit. I make great deals on stuff in bulk, you get some low prices. Everyone wins. A lot of people will tell you it's the worst, one step above being homeless. They'll whine about how folks topside have it so much better. Me? I like it more real down here. Topside, everyone's trying to show how civilized and rich they are. Oh, it's exhausting. But, hey, to each their own. Hey, take it easy. Don't mind. It's a quaint shop, isn't it? I like it here. Oh, Henrik is an old friend of mine. I help out around here from time to time. But I don't just loiter around. I'm involved in my own business endeavor as well. Maybe a little, but that's not such a bad thing, is it? Better than all the noise and attention topside, if you ask me. Stay out of trouble. You stop in whenever you'd like. Do you know why this place has stood for so long? I make sure everyone's comfy. I tell it like it is, and I don't take any shit. Everyone's welcome. Stay as long as you like. yourself. And don't Understand? be a stranger. No causing trouble in here. No shortage of hungry mouths to feed around here. Keeps us on our toes. Nothing else? Okay, sounds good. Mom, that's Kay, gets all the credit. Started making sure people felt welcome back when I was just a kid. She had one rule, no cause in trouble. Everyone abided by it, put their differences aside when they came through the door. After a few years of feeding so many mouths, we needed extra credits to stay afloat. Didn't mean for this to turn into a business, but here we are. If folks are willing to pay a little to have some place to feel safe and get a decent meal, well then, we'll sure take it. There are always about a million things to do, and I'm only one person. It's so overwhelming. Hey! Oh, you're not Garl. Sorry, I shouldn't assume. Maybe you go by Garl. You're just not the Garl I was waiting for. We're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here. People have been reporting brownouts for a while, and Mass finally decided to follow up on it. I can't be in two places at once, and Carl isn't here. So I'm just trying to look inconspicuous. We're trying to isolate a power drain, which looks like it's the result of a large amount of power being rerouted through various subsystems. But it's kind of a two-person job. Someone needs to find the junction boxes associated with those subsystems and power them down. The other person needs to monitor the system remotely. It's pretty simple, really, and relatively safe. Only a small chance of electrocution. Co-worker of mine on this assignment with me. Clearly not taking it seriously. Not really surprising. Most folks are fine with ignoring what goes on down here. Well, since you're here and Carl isn't, and I really want to get this solved, I will take you up on that. What I need is very technical. I can talk you through it remotely. I'm gonna head to the monitoring station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. I can contact you once you get there. Hey, can you hear me? I think this is 
working. I only have a general view of things, but you should be near the first junction box. Look for it mounted on the wall. When you find it, open it up and flip the big switch. That's it. Great job. So, that tripped the secondary breaker, and that goes to... Oh, wow, really? They wired it like that? Jeez, okay. Okay, got it. Next one is way down past Jake's. And maybe up a story or two? It's a bit of a hike. Sorry. All right, you should be near the next junction box. This section isn't used very much these days, so it may be a little harder to see. That's the one. Next one's not too far. Dead end, right down from Jake's. Right under that apartment they've been trying to sell. Good luck with that, right? Hi, mister. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a free star ranger. avoiding eye contact. It should be fine. Another switch flipped, another lead to follow. Then the lights in here just flickered too. The wiring is worse than I thought. I'm going to work on fixing that little issue while you find the next junction box. Looks like it's over near the... Uh... Hmm, the trade authority. Okay. Just find that and, uh... Maybe don't talk to anyone about it just yet. quickly too. I'm impressed. Did I say thank you? Because thank you. There's no way I could have done that in a reasonable amount of time all by myself. Maybe in the short term, but overall it paid off. Thanks to your help, I was able to trace the power drain. I know where it's coming from. Unfortunately, the source is exactly where I was afraid it was. The trade authority. So, that's something that I'll need to deal with. That'll be fun. If you want to tag along, I certainly wouldn't complain. But if not, then this is where we part ways. How are things going? Well, it's been a grind, for sure. So thanks to you, we've got evidence that the Trade Authority is behind the power drain being reported down here. I don't know if you ever dealt with the Trade Authority, but Zoe is intimidating. I have to go in there, but I really, really don't want to. You think you'd be willing to go with me? Just make sure this doesn't go badly? I don't know. I feel like I'm the one who's going to wind up in trouble. Zoe's got a way of twisting things. Thanks. That means a lot. I can do the talking, I think. Just be ready for, well... Anything.
ship that landed not too long ago? It sure is something. Huh? A visit from Mast. How delightful. You'll have to remind me of your name, dear. I'm afraid I can't keep track of all you little worker drones. I'm Luisa Reyes. Well, you know that. Because I've been in here three times. Yes, yes, of course you are. And what was it you were accusing me of with absolutely no evidence? The power drain is coming from your building, Zoe. You and I both know it, and now I can prove it. I'm sorry, what? We traced the drain, checked the grid. It led us here. You, you can't talk your way out of this. I'm going to ask you to wait here a moment. I'll be right back. Okay, just be ready for anything. I don't know if she's going to come out of there with a gun or call in mercenaries or what. I don't want this to turn out violent if we can avoid it, okay? Believe me, I really, really hope I am. But I'll tell you, people in my division tell stories about Zoe. She's got a lot of influence. No, seriously, I really don't want that. Well, Miss Reyes, I apologize for not taking this matter more seriously. I assure you, I will eagerly assist in getting to the bottom of this. No, you're not weaseling out of this. We got to the bottom of it. You are the bottom. I appreciate your enthusiasm for your work, but I do a little more research before casting aspersions. Someone has indeed been using this location through which to route electrical power. It is not the Trade Authority. I've had my suspicions for a while, and have been keeping detailed notes, which I'm happy to share with you. For now, though, what do we do next? I... wait, what? Oh, for heaven's sake. I presume you've been assisting Miss Reyes in tracking down this little problem. Well, clearly there's more work to be done. Why don't you continue the work you've been doing with an assurance that the Trade Authority will compensate you for your time? I'll coordinate things here with Miss Reyes. With Mast's access to the grid, we'll find out who did this soon enough. And why. Presumably, you're the one who's been doing the field work, so... I believe you'll find there's another junction box out there in the well that needs your attention. Okay, well, this is not how I saw this going. For the moment, let's assume this is all legitimate. I can sort out the details with Zoe. So why don't you go investigate the next junction box? Hey, I thought you were out there, you know, solving this. Hey there, you should be getting close. Hello, is this functional? I insist that you provide updates for any suspicious activity. Is that clear? And Zoe's here too, if you hadn't guessed. We've agreed to work together on this. Once you throw the switch, we can direct you to the next junction box. Miss 
Reyes is still collecting the necessary diagrams and blueprints to accurately assess the situation. Before she returns, I'm going to make you an offer. Whatever you find at the end of this path, you bring it to me first. And here's where I begrudgingly agree with Zoe. It's not technically my problem at this point, but I want to see where this trail leads. I'll be certain that Mast gets what it needs, but I trade in valuable information. I suspect you're going to find some. I guarantee you the Trade Authority will pay well. If you head topside, I'll pull the diagrams we'll need and contact you. Consider that as you head towards the residential district. We can't pinpoint the source yet, but it's somewhere over there. can't give Zoe anything, don't you? So you tracked it down. You've got something to show for it? Great. I'll get this back to Mass for analysis. I'm not stupid. I know Zoe probably made you an offer. I appreciate that you didn't take it. And I'm really glad we got to work together on this. Well, hello. You hear about the job by any chance? Uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. Totally understand. But if you're looking to make some credits and serve the United Colonies at the same time, you just let me know. Well, uh, first things first, I have to ask, do you have any security experience at all? It sure counts for something. I mean, you're alive. And resilience is definitely an important trait for any officer. Well, I think I've heard all I need. Your first assignment couldn't be easier. Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. There was a package left at a dead drop and they need UC security to handle it. He'll fill you in on the details. Aegis? They're basically UC intelligence. They help identify threats to New Atlantis before they become problems. While we're separate departments, there are times we need to rely on each other, so it's important to keep a good working relationship. We do Agent Plato this favor, and maybe he'll toss us some intel when an investigation stalled. Tit for tat. You know how it works. Well, just because you're bringing it here doesn't mean that's where it'll end up. As for why, you can ask Aegis. As far as I'm concerned, it's none of my business. You know, MAST, uh, the Military, Administrative, and Scientific Triumvirate. Giant building in the center of the city? Headquarters of the entire United Colonies? I really should have given you a more thorough interview. Take care.
I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss the details of my division's work. The fewer people there are thinking about Aegis on a daily basis, the easier my job is. We're the intelligence arm of the United Colonies. Think of it this way. You see security responds to threats. It's Aegis's job to anticipate and prevent them. <laughs> no. My parents would never have been so presumptuous. Every agent who joins Aegis gets to choose a pseudonym, pending approval, of course. I chose this for myself when I signed on. I have, of course, since learned that I am not nearly as smart as I thought I was as a younger man. I suppose none of us are. I'm the acting head of Aegis, the intelligence division here in MAST. I oversee all our active projects and agents in the field, and I'm afraid that's about as much detail as I can give you. Ah, right. You're Sergeant Yumi's recruit. You're taller than I expected. Oh, it wasn't a compliment, just an observation. In any case, let me fill you in. We have a dead drop that we think has been compromised. So I'd like someone from UC Security to handle the pickup instead. Take the package back to Sergeant Yumi and he'll check it in as evidence before it gets routed back to Aegis. Well, I told the Sergeant that anyone hired for this job should get my stamp of approval first. Nothing personal. It's just this sort of work isn't part of your normal detail. We think non-UC affiliated groups have their eye on it, and are using it to identify field agents. Normally we just burn the location, but we didn't get this intel until after the drop. So we're going to need non-Aegis personnel to do the pickup to cover our tracks. Take the NAT to the spaceport. There should be a Galbank ATM right next to the station. The package is taped under one of the benches. Grab it and deliver it to Sergeant Yumi and the job's done. All you really need to know is that we're here to serve and we're the good guys. Our main priority is the safety and security of the citizens and assets of the United Colonies, wherever they may be. We keep an eye on, well, everything. That's a level of detail I can't get into. Don't worry. You've got plenty of good people working hard. That is a word that has been used, both for good and ill, to describe us at times. You get used to it after a while, and it makes the occasions where you can all the more meaningful. You really should know better than to ask for classified intel. What is this, your first day on the job? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just giving you a hard time. I still can't tell you what's in the package, though. Good luck with the mission. How's you still have questions? Go ahead and ask. Nicely done. It's really hard to find good help these days. That being said, my luck seems to be turning around. We've gotten a lot of new personnel as of late, not just you. Who knew all I had to do was put up a sign? Well, I have you now, so I probably won't hire another person for a while. Anyway, here's your payment. And if I have any more work for you, I'll let you know. Ah, crime has slowed down since you started helping out, which is good for morale. Ah, it's a lot of work, as always. People like to say, New Atlantis is the safest city in the settled systems. How hard could your job be? Well... Safety doesn't happen by accident. It takes a lot of work and a lot of people. Yep. Something just came in. Scuffle over at the Dawn's Roost. Security on site handled it, but now one of them is saying the other guy stole his wedding ring. Problem is, he left without identifying the perp, so I need you to talk to Royce Elgin at the Dawn's Roost. See if you can fill in the gaps. Men like him aren't very generous with their time. They want you to solve a case without ever having to lift a finger themselves. Not that he'd be much of a witness, given that he was still half drunk when he got here and somehow even more so when he left. Sorry, wrong word. Rich people don't get drunk, they get inebriated. Which is another way of saying highly unreliable. Good. 
Report back here when the matter's resolved. A restaurant over in the residential district caters to a very fancy clientele. It's the kind of place where forks come in different sizes, depending on the food. According to the patron, the ring is valuable, but if I had to guess, not for sentimental reasons. Normally, when someone loses a valuable keepsake, they're heartbroken. The way this guy was acting, it's almost as if he lost a wallet full of creds. Let me know if you have any questions. The recipient. I do hope you are enjoying your time in your Atlantis. The dawn's roost represents the highest quality, from the ingredients to the decor. No expense is spared. Anyone who has sampled our offerings will assure you it is all worth it. Ah, uh, a most unfortunate incident, complicated by the fact that both parties were inebriated. While I wasn't privy to the entire argument, Hugo and Octavio have been dining here together for quite some time. So, it was surprising to see them at each other's throats. Oh, yes, quite often. Uh, they had a usual table over in the far corner, with all the traditional accoutrements. Music, candles, wine... You see where I'm going with this. But this time the two had barely sat down before the argument got heated. Thankfully, security stepped in before anyone got hurt. I wasn't witness to any theft, and both men were wearing rings, if I recall correctly. Well, the one who stayed with UC security, Octavio, is a shorter man, handsome and refined. Uh, his favorite menu item is the Saint, I believe. The other, Hugo Fournier, is a tall, slender gentleman with a French accent. Excellent tipper, well-mannered, but a bit hot-tempered. <laughs> I assume that would be the slender gentleman, Hugo Fournier. He was the one who excused himself after UC security arrived. I believe he lives in Athena Tower, although he may be checking out soon, but I would start there. Enjoy the rest of your day. Excuse me? Oh, I can't believe that Octavio, that liar, that manipulator, that, that, that lying, cheating, foul piece of Don Glider dropping. If I had my way, I'd tie him to the back of a ship and grab jump it right into the nearest star. Five years we were together, half a decade, and he threw it all away for that waiter. Not just dating, betrothed, and I have the engagement ring to prove it. It was supposed to be a romantic dinner, our last, before we pledged our lives to each other. But an hour before, I decided to do some cleaning to calm my nerves. I picked up a pair of pants he left on the floor and out falls a napkin from the dawn's roost with a number written on the back. To think he had the audacity to schedule a date with me at the same restaurant? I was livid! Still, I went to the date and held it together just long enough for the waiter to serve us then I went off! No, there are some things in life that cannot be repaired. Cheating is his way of saying, I don't love you. And without love, what's the point? He would say that, but as far as I'm concerned, it's my property. He gifted it to me when he proposed. It's not his to return. I'm glad you could see reason. This ring is going to fund a very long vacation across the settled systems. Maybe I'll even take pictures. Officer, what can I do for you? Ah, oh, perfect. Did you manage to get the ring back? Ugh. Really? I should have known this was a waste of time the moment I laid eyes on that drunk. That's on me. Without saying names, there are some people in the city who treat us like their personal security service. But you know how it goes. Sometimes we protect, other times we serve. Either way, I'm still going to pay you for your time. Here, take this. 
it's well deserved. Always surprises. Hey! You. Hey, you! You have a minute? I need to talk to you. You're the one that was on Vectera, right? <coughs> uh, you flew in on the uh, frontier. Excellent. So glad I caught you. Tommy Bitlow, SSNN research intern. Word is the frontier was involved in an attack. It's true, right? You saw some real action. This is great! Great! Uh, my boss, Nadia Mufaz, would kill to talk to you! An actual eyewitness! Uh, there's credits in it for credible newsworthy information. Everyone knows David Barron, the face and voice of SSNN, if you will. But Nadia is in charge of all the research. All the best stories were written by her. She's... Uh, really something. Just share what you want, then. All we want to know is about the attack itself. Just go to the SSNN building. It's not far. Keep it up, Tommy. You're killing it. But David's my friend. He writes me. I hate to break Do you have a you, story but his PA is the one who signs all those. I've just got a feeling about you. You have a story to tell. Looks like some Crimson Fleet brainiac figured out it's easier to hit stationary targets than dogfighting in the field. And... You are an eyewitness with the courtesy to find us instead of being chased down. Refreshing. So what were the pirates doing there? It's not their usual M.O. Rare minerals, you say? That would be worth the price of admission. So what's your role in all this? Part of a tour group? Huh. I didn't realize Argos Extractors hired such capable crew. So we've covered the basics. How about any harrowing tales of daring do? How'd a bunch of miners triumph? How heartwarming. Constellation banding together with some dusty miners. I like it. This is a good local story. Plucky miners band together and punch above their weight. If you ever get more stories like this, drop by. And take this to cover any incidentals, or other creative ways to pad out an expense report. Uh, I came all the Welcome to SSNN, where the news never sleeps. If you're part of the David Barron fan club, try not to inflate his ego too much. He's liable to burst. <sighs> Sorry. <coughs> Long day. Longer night. <clears throat> How about a do-over? Let's take a look at you. You... You're not from around here. My guess is you work, really work, for a living. I bet you have a story or two. I have a feeling about such things. Tommy? Tommy did something useful? So you must be the captain of the... Frontier? Rumor is there was a firefight at a mining installation. I'm interested only in primary sources. So things you've seen and or done that are newsworthy. No hearsay. So, what do you got for me? I'm working on an investigative piece about some of the businesses in the well right now. Trying to get a handle on how things are in that part of the city. I'm not sure the story will get off the ground, though. <clears throat> I asked the higher-ups if I could go down there for some interviews, but... They said it's too dangerous. They'd probably be all for it if David asked. <coughs> really? You sure? The well's a pretty dangerous place. It might be too much for a first-time reporter. Great! I had three interviewees in mind. Teresa Mason, the owner of Kay's house, Henrik Zoran at Apex Electronics, and Nurse O'Shea from the Med Bay. You don't need to ask too many tough questions. I just want to read on how their businesses are doing, and how things are in the well. <sighs> I really can't thank you enough. I really wonder what actual news How do we know? I've got limited We're doing the best we can here. 
That's all we can ever do. Funny story about that. You know, when people first arrived on Jemison, they dismantled the colony ship and used the parts to establish a place to live. Over time, they built out, and up, and up, and after long enough, they started to forget about the people and the things still down here. The walls and the ceiling have changed, but this place still uses equipment from that old ship. And it's here because not everyone in New Atlantis can afford Reliant Medical. Don't have much of a choice. Can't afford to pay staff, and while I've got a few volunteers from the community, I can only ask so much of them. We've scraped by for a good long while now, and we'll continue to do so. Don't you worry. All right, let's have a look. I've seen so much worse than this. Can get you fixed up for sure. We'll do some cleaning, a bit of closing up, and you should be fine. There you go. More or less good as new. A journalist? That's a surprise. Most people don't think anything that goes on in the well is worth writing about. I'd be happy to help if I can. Things are always the same in the well. Violent and dangerous. I swear I treat more injuries here than I did when I was a Navy medic. Sure, if you'd like. My name's Talia. I was born and raised right here in the well. I've been the nurse here at the Med Bay for over a decade now. Once upon a time, I was a combat medic for the UC Navy. When the colony war ended, I came back to the well to put my skills to use for the people here. Things are always rough at the Med Bay. I'm the closest thing to a doctor that the well has, and I can't treat everyone. The last few weeks have been especially bad. There's some kind of infection going around, and a lot of kids down here are catching it. It just breaks my heart to see. Oh, you're sweet to offer. There might be something you can do, if you're willing. Let's chat again when you have some time to spare, all right? All right, dear. You let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. No lawyering. Can't say I'll have what you need. But you're welcome to look. Nope. No question business has been slow lately. Not too worried, though. Managed to make ends meet for a good long while. Don't expect that to change now. That's so. Think folks down here are too poor to afford electronics. Not the first time I heard that line. Yeah, I get that kind of attitude far too often. You find yourself with any more commentary, feel free to keep it to yourself. It's fine. Just maybe give things an extra thought before you let them roll right out of your mouth. A reporter. Fine, but I'm only talking basics. I don't like people snooping around my business. How the hell do you think? Life's a mess down here. I'm not holding my breath for it to get any better. Name's Henrik. I own Apex Electronics. That's all I'm willing to say to some nosy reporter. Door's still open, isn't it? That's my idea of success. Sorry if you were hoping for something more flowery. Great! Now why don't you help me out and buy something? I scratch your back, you scratch mine. No shortage of hungry mouths to feed around here. Keeps us on our toes. Nothing else? Absolutely. I'm sure my mom would be proud to have the place featured in an article. What's up? <sighs> Same as ever. I've lived in the well my whole life, and things have never really changed. The UC government promises to clean the place up every couple years, but there's still just as much crime and poverty as there was when I was a kid. That's why Kay's house is so important. It's the one place people in the well feel safe. Be sure to put that in the article, okay? I'm really proud of it. Yeah, sure thing. I'm Teresa Mason, and this is my home. My mom's the Kay who founded Kay's house. I grew up here along with the business. My mom passed the place on to me when she decided to retire. Running it is my pride and joy. I've put everything I have into it. Business is steady. As usual, we don't tolerate violence or disrespect, so a lot of folks like to spend time here. The only thing that's worrying me is a new group of customers I've seen hanging around lately. They've been watching the UC Surplus store pretty closely. I have a bad feeling they might be planning something. Kay's house has a reputation as a safe place. I don't want to be associated with that kind of thing. Honestly, I'd really appreciate that. 
I'd feel terrible if something happened and I hadn't done anything to try to stop it. Why don't you come by when you have some spare time? And we'll talk it out. Great. Let me know when the article comes out, will you? I'd like to read it. My sources? You have another story for me? Dear Lord, everyone wants to know about Baron. <sighs> he's a smart guy. He cares about what he's reporting. He's way too damn cozy with the UC, and that's a problem for us staying impartial. My biggest beef with him is he's credited with everything he reports, and he doesn't lift a finger to correct that impression. We're short-staffed, overworked, and trying to report on a million things at once. Not to mention there's a constant battle with the powers that be to maintain our journalistic principles. So, things are just swell. Hey, that's great! Thanks so much! Did everything go alright? That's why stories like this one are so important. If people knew what was going on down there, maybe they'd want to help fix it. I can't thank you enough for helping me out. I'll send you a copy of the story if it gets published. <laughs> There's nothing like seeing your name in print. Next time, then. I've got limited- We're doing the best we can here. That's all we can ever do. Oh, you remembered. I'm touched, dear, really. Yes, there's absolutely something you can do to help. All the children seem to have the same stomach bug, but I'm having trouble diagnosing it. Pediatrics isn't my specialty. But one of my colleagues, Dr. Lebedev, is an expert. If I had his research notes, I'm sure I could diagnose the disease and find a treatment. He works topside at Reliant Medical. It's easy to find. It's right between Mast and Orion Tower. Dr. Lebedev is always there. I've seen an uptick in cases of sick children in the med bay recently. They all seem to be presenting the same symptoms, but I can't identify the cause. It isn't serious enough to kill them, but I haven't found an effective treatment yet. That has me worried. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'd go myself, but I can't leave the med bay unattended. There are a few injuries that can't be addressed here. If you walk in, you will almost assuredly walk out. Welcome to Reliant. If you're in need of medical assistance or require supplies, I am sure we can accommodate you. Well, everyone knows Reliant, largest medical provider in the settled systems. They've spent decades advancing medical science with their research division, and have built an entire supply network to keep us all healthy. They've always been quite proud to work here. Well, of course, New Atlantis is a big place. Lots of people, which means no shortage of injuries, communicable diseases. But we're well staffed and do our best to accommodate anyone who needs help. A medical problem Talia can't solve. I never thought I'd see the day. How can I help? We've been professional acquaintances for a long time. She's an excellent nurse. If the well didn't need her so badly, I'd have offered her a job here ages ago. Sick children? Well, we can't have that. I'd be happy to help. Let's see. A stomach bug. I've treated plenty of those. I keep extensive notes. I'm sure I have something that can help. Ah, yes, here we go. And this should do the trick. I've uploaded some of my notes on common stomach issues in pediatric patients to this sleigh. Please, pass it on to Talia. She can keep it. And give her my best, will you? I hope everything works out for those kids. But still! No way! Three. If it's you need patching up, we'll see what we can do. Really? It. Let's see. I held it together. Ah, oh, this is perfect. I knew Dr. Lebedev would have what I needed. I'll have this solved in no time with these notes for reference. Thank you so much, dear. Really. I couldn't have done this without you. If you haven't, make sure you say hello to Mama. 
Would you? I I'd really appreciate it. I saw them hanging around the UC surplus earlier today. They sure looked suspicious to me. They've been coming here regularly for the last couple weeks, and all they do is sit on the balcony and watch the UC surplus. I thought I heard them mention a robbery, but I'm not sure. They seem to know I'm onto them, so they stop talking about it when I'm around. That's not how I want this handled. Kay's place is the only safe haven in the well. I can't condone violence. If anyone's going to handle them, it should be security. But I have to be sure they're up to something before I get the authorities involved. I don't want to get anyone on security's bad side for no reason. Why don't you do a little sleuthing for me? Maybe you'll have better luck eavesdropping on them than I did. We can decide what to do once we figure out if they're really up to something. Do you know why this place is I don't know, Isaac. Seems like a tough joint to crack. Nah, that's just what they want you to think, Louie. You see, you see security around here? No, but... But nothing. I say we strike while the iron's hot. I got a feeling that goody two-shoes at Kay's place is gonna rat us out. She was giving us some serious side-eye last time we were in there. See? No time like the present. We'll do it tonight. We'll be fine, trust me. We'll be in and out in time to make last call at Jake's. If we can make this happen, we'll be real big shots around here. I've never seen anybody else try something like this. You gotta trust me. We'll be fine. I guess I, I need to work on my self-confidence. Frick's info is good. So be a piece of cake. I sure hope we can make it happen. Hey, I thought you were on my side here. I, if you say so, Isaac. If we pull this off, we'll be swimming in credits. That's a pretty big if. I've just about had enough of you doubting me, Louie. I have a real bad feeling about this. If we can make this happen, we'll be real big shots around here. I sure hope we can make it happen. Hey, I thought you were on my side here. <laughs> I guess I, I need to work on my... Ulrich's info is no, good. It's good for you. So be a piece of cake. Everyone's welcome, so long as you keep your hands to yourself. Damn. I was hoping I had it wrong. <sighs> I guess that settles it. We have to get the authorities involved before they can go through with the robbery. You should take this straight to Officer Endler at the security office. He'll look into it. If he gives you a hard time, tell him I sent you to make the report. That'll get him on your side. Sort of. He's a regular customer, and I've reported crimes to him before. He's more fair-minded than most of the Wells security officers. Head out the door and turn left. It's all the way at the end of the street. You can't miss it. Thanks. Let me know when you've made the report, okay? Never a dull day for security in the well. <sighs> well, that's what we're here for. What's going on? The UC surplus. You sure about that? It's been a long time since someone was stupid enough to rob that place. That's so. Nobody in the well is more reliable than Teresa. If she says there's a problem, I believe it. You can tell her I'm personally looking into it. That should ease her mind. Those thieves won't be so cocky with security on patrol. That was quick. How'd things go with Officer Endler? I'm glad to hear it. I'll think twice about trying anything with security in the area. Thanks for your help with this. I feel a lot better knowing security's on patrol down there. Hi, how are you? Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? <laughs> oh boy, I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice, know what I mean? Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That work for you, new guy? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Yep, spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me? 
I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous, galaxy-wide. Well, at the moment, it's what's not in it that's an issue right now. I don't have everything for the recipe. I made a deal with the hauler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. I submitted all the paperwork, believe me. It won't amount to anything, but I did it. And really, I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. I mean, doing something about this won't exactly be on the straight and narrow, will it? Oh yeah, I absolutely should. But I'm not going to. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh, with me on this? God, you have no idea what a relief this is. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. I know a few things, but not much. The cargo is being held down at the spaceport, not in the security office. Still, they use the same access cards. If you had one, it'd work. How or why you would have a UC security access card is none of my business, of course. I'm sure I'm better off not knowing. Beyond that, the ship decks over there might also be able to get in. I don't know any of them or I'd be talking to them instead of you. No offense. Like I said, I submitted the usual security release forms. But because my cargo is tied up with a bunch of, again, totally unrelated illegal stuff, I don't expect the forms to matter. At all. I went and talked to an officer at the office too. You, me. Sergeant, maybe? He was polite, but unhelpful. I declined to suggest that as their new slogan. New Atlanta security. Polite, but unhelpful. Truth in advertising, eh? I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I trust you. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure... There has to be a way to get what I need. Hmm. Bit of a slow news day around here. Ah, well. Speaking of news, some folks are convinced David Barron, you know, the SSN anchor, is some sort of free star sympathizer. <laughs> Ridiculous, if you ask me. Sure, they ran a couple of stories about Aquila City that weren't totally critical, but come on. Have you ever been? It's really not that bad. Anyway. That's the sort of high-stakes stuff people talk up while waiting on a flight. So glad you asked, aren't you? <laughs> I can tell. Catch you later. Well, hello. You hear about the job by any chance? Uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. Totally understand. But if you're looking to make some credits and serve the United Colonies at the same time, you just let me know. Yeah. We all got friends who need things, but we've also got rules and regulations, and I'm not going to bend them. Your friend can file a request like everyone else. Take care. Hey, this really isn't a good place for civilians to be hanging around. 
There's something I can help you with? Oh, security impounded a ton of cargo and didn't have storage space for it all, so we're holding on to some of it until they can run inventory. So, you need something, or...? Uh, not really sure. Whenever they get through their backlog, I guess. Have a reason you're asking? Yeah... I can't really just let you in there. Thank you. Alright, look, don't tell anyone I did this for you. I lose my job over it. If anyone asks, I had nothing to do with this. Got it? One second. Alright, make it quick, will you? I don't want to sound desperate, but any luck finding my cargo? Hey there, new guy. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. Oh, no way. You really got it? I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? I mean, I want to know, but it's maybe better if I don't. I certainly hope not. This is a huge deal to me. But it's not worth either of us murdering over. Well, look, I can assure this will all be worth it in the end. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you have the first ever sample. On top of that, you get free drinks. Not, not like unlimited free drinks. But you want a little pick-me-up now and then? I got you covered. I need some time to work on what comes next. But this? This was the difficult part, I think. Really? Thank you so much. Hmm. Bit of a slow news day around here. Ah, well, speaking of news, some folks are convinced David Barron, you know, the SSN anchor, is some sort of free star sympathizer. <laughs> Ridiculous, if you ask me. Sure, they ran a couple of stories about Aquiles City that weren't totally critical, but come on. Have you ever been? It's really not that bad. Anyway, that's the sort of high-stakes stuff people talk up while waiting on a flight. So glad you asked, aren't you? <laughs> I can tell. Catch you later. Hi, how are you? Anything I can do for you? There's a huge tree in the Embassy District, across from the mass station. Trust me, it may sound dumb, but I think everyone should see it at least once when they're in the city. It's so cool. Oh, maybe I just love trees. Oh, sure. There's always tons of travel into New Atlantis, so there's no shortage of people to meet. I love talking with the new people and hearing about their journeys. Not to mention, it's also nice and safe. Unlike my brother's job. Well, of course. He's a Marine stationed in Sidonia. My whole family is worried about him. My dad worked his butt off so that we could all have safe jobs here in New Atlantis. But Chris ran off to Sidonia the first chance he got. He says he's okay and that he loves his job and all that. But I don't think he understands how hard this is on our family. I hope you're right. I just have such a hard time believing that though. But, oh my, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dump all of that onto you. It just feels good to get it all off my chest. Until next time. Ugh, I... Ugh, right, the boots. I hate to admit it, but she has a point. She's the third customer to return the pair, all for the same reason. The boots might really be cursed. I thought about it once, but then, I thought better of it. Best not to tempt fate. And besides, they're one of my size. And risk releasing whatever's inside them? I've seen enough horror vids to know how this goes. Like most of my supply from one of my UC contacts. Or after the second customer returned the boots, I got curious and I did some digging. Turns out, they were seized from a House of Arun ship. That alone is enough to convince me something's amiss. I don't doubt it. 
Either way, it's bad for business. Hey, you're a pilot, right? Maybe you can do me a favor. I've heard of a UC station at the far end of the galaxy called the Den. You go there and stash these boots in a crate, and I'll give you credits as a compensation. Finally, someone to give these blasted boots the boot, if you pardon the expression. Here, I'll have your credits for you when the job is done. enough scoop for you? I really don't think that's appropriate talk, coming from a Vanguard pilot. That's exactly your problem! You don't think! If you weren't such a lousy reporter, you wouldn't be stuck all the way out here! I mean, I guess maybe that's true, but uh, if so, you're just as stuck out here as I am. So what does that say? Oh, wow! You really do want me to kick your ass, don't you? All right, that's enough. Bastion, go cool off. Get a drink. Whatever. Fine. Holden, I appreciate that you have a job to do. I really do. But you need to consider that you don't operate in a vacuum. If you're stationed here long term, that means you're around these people all day, every day. And they're not going to like it if you're making them look bad. Lieutenant Commander Marquez, I appreciate your concern, but I have an obligation to SSNN to report on what I see. I'm sure they do know that, Holden. I'm just saying, maybe use a little more discretion in your reporting. Maybe a lot. Don't worry. When the next big story breaks out here, I'll be sure to help you get the scoop, okay? I will think on that. Thank you. If you see anything unusual or illegal, make sure you report it. Vanguard's here for a reason. We'll take care of it. Haven't seen you around here before. Welcome to the den. Reyna Marquez. I head up the Vanguard station here. If you've got business with the Vanguard, I hope you ran it through Mast first. If not, you probably made a long jump for nothing. Oh, gosh, no. Vanguard wasn't even a thought back when this place was first built. The den, the original den, mind you, got blown up during the Serpent's Crusade. UC Navy immediately rebuilt the station, I think largely out of spite. Sometimes I think that's why they keep it operational too, certainly hasn't had much real purpose since the colony war ended. I'm glad we have it as a post, and Marcel and the Trade Authority do some decent business, which I try very hard not to pay attention to, but the station has never recaptured that old glory. Don't think it ever will, really. Might be counterintuitive, but no. No, we don't. It's pretty quiet, and some of us deal with that better than others. We get the occasional distress call. Sometimes Varun stirs up trouble, but there's a lot of downtime. I'm not complaining, but others, like Bastion there, it's not what he was expecting. Certainly not what he wanted. The same thing we do everywhere else. Fill in the gaps for the UC Navy. Help keep the settled systems peaceful and safe. Sometimes it's a little bit of a challenge all the way out here, but we try our best. I wouldn't mind a little more support from New Atlantis, but I know things are tough all over. Take care. Hey, newbie. It's a nice set of boots you got there. They for sale? I'll give you, say, 500 credits for them. They'd look better on me anyway. Nothing. I just want yours. I don't know. Looks like they're perfect. Sturdy, polished, and just my size. But fine. If you don't want to sell, it's your loss. Truth is, I don't need new boots. I just need a change. The monotony in this place is killing me. 
Something to report? Welcome to the Trade Authority. I'm Marcel, and if there's anything, anything, I can do for you, please do let me know. Our stock may not be as vast as New Atlantis or Sidonia, but I will do my best to see that you leave here satisfied. And seeing as the Trade Authority is the only fully licensed operator for the Den, I'm afraid your alternatives are, shall we say, slim. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, and I hope this and all future interactions are profitable for both of us. It's very kind of you to offer, but I am currently not in a position to personally require your services. There are, however, likely some Trade Authority contracts available at the terminal down in the bar. I'm sure you're already aware that the Trade Authority is quite generous when it comes to completing said contracts. If there are deals to be made, you'll find that we'll go to great lengths to take advantage of them. My primary role here is to oversee logistics operations for our many trade routes in the area, but I convinced my superiors that it was worth setting up something more customer-oriented. I'm told that they are quite pleased with the results. The Trade Authority appreciates your business. I really did think this place would see a bit more action. Well, I certainly feel that way. The Vanguard pilots don't seem to want to associate with me. And I don't agree with Mr. Romack's views on the Colony War. So there are few options left to me. You know, I really thought volunteering for this assignment was going to be the boost to my career that I was looking for. Now I suspect even SSNN has forgotten about me. Thank you for the kind words of support, random citizen. Farewell, then. Doc, I'm on what you call a long-term assignment. Suits me fine, so long as the UC keeps paying me. Ooh, well, that depends on who you ask. Orville over there is still stuck in the glory days when this was the domain of the UC military brass and all their hangers-on. You can't see those days are never coming back. The Vanguard pilots, they mostly just resent guarding the ass end of nowhere. Reyna's okay, I guess. She seems to really care about the mission. And me? Well, it's as good a place as any to be stuck, I guess. You know, that's a good question. I do stuff for Orville sometimes, odd jobs or whatever, when he's not annoying. But I think technically I get paid by the Vanguard. I mean, I could probably go look it up, but as long as the credits keep showing up in my account, I'll keep hanging around. Yep, see ya. You ask me? Personally, I think daylight's overrated. Yes, you did. You know how I know? The rain cloud over your head is all but gone. Here, for your hard work. With a lady lock back on my side, I expect the business to be less bust and more boom. And let us never speak of those accursed boots ever again. I got contacts, Olo. Take your time. I got all day. Budget tours. I have a request from people on the ship. You I'm 
Ah, uh, well, surprise you returned a hail. Can I ask the first question? I'm still talking with the captain. Cindy will organize everyone into a queue. Are you sure you're up for this? This is a really fun crowd. Ah, the friendly captain's agreed. Let's try and leave a good impression. First question. Is being a ship captain non-stop thrills and excitement like living in that movie Return of the Interceptor? Oh, I was kind of hoping there would be thrills all over the place. I am sure the captain is really busy and may not have time for all your questions. If you can afford your very own ship, you must be super well off. You single? Oh dear lord. Articulate and wealthy. Intriguing. Last question. Let... Space is a lawless mess. If you could make the damn politicians fix one thing about it, what would it be? So you want more government interference? Yeah, that seems like such a good idea. Thank you, Captain, for the, uh, welcome break. I got a question. Is it true captains have someone in every port? You know, a special someone? For l'amour? Or so- You don't have to answer that! I knew it! I knew it! That's all. Everyone settle back in your seats. I cut the intercom? You have the patience of a saint. This tour group is very... energetic. Here's some credits for giving them such an authentic experience. This is your captain speaking. We're about to head to our next destination. Remember, we'll be in Neon in five days, so don't spend all your money yet. Astral Lounge, here I come! Dear Lord. survey of the settled systems as part of a field research initiative. I flagged you down to see if you might have any rare geological samples to contribute. <laughs> a tragically understaffed one, yes. But this geological survey could earn us a big grant from the UC government, assuming I managed to finish it. A tiny staff means a tiny budget, so the only ship the Institute could afford to send me out in was this... Bottom of the line, Junker. It's been slow going at best. That's why I've started hailing pilots like you for assistance. Yes, I am. I've been out here for weeks without anyone to talk to. Most of the pilots I've tried hailing have either shot at me or flown off. My food and water supplies are fine, but I didn't bring nearly enough books to keep myself busy. <laughs> you can only read Pride and Prejudice so many times. After my third time through it, I started using the pages to teach myself origami. I can't thank you enough. I'm in the market for lithium, platinum, and vanadium right now. I'm not asking for much. I know they're hard to come by. I understand. Well, thanks for stopping anyway. I'm going to try my luck in another system. You might want to back up a bit. This old Junker's grav drive is a little on the fritz. Fly safe! Sorry, this is taking longer than usual. So, do you have any hobbies? Oh, a workaholic. I get it. I knew plenty of those at Mast. Personally, I have quite a rock collection. I used to spend my weekends gathering samples on Jemison. Maybe I shouldn't have let that slip at the office, huh? <laughs> That's probably why they sent me on this job instead of some poor grad student. <laughs> huh. You ever hear 
hear the one about the geologist and the music shop? It's a good one. A geologist walks into a music store and asks the cashier, Got any rock? The guy looks him up and down and says, Can I have a moment of your time? Thanks for responding to my hail. We've been trying to contact you about your ship's extended warranty. Your warranty coverage has expired or is about to expire. Due to the uncertainty of the political situation in the settled systems, we think now is a great time to renew your ship's warranty protection plan, or purchase a new one if you lack coverage. It sounds like you're interested in hearing more. First, I need to inform you about the warranty claims process as laid out by the United Colonies Arbitration Board. UCAB is not a decision maker and cannot change the outcome of a dispute. Before filing, claimants must submit the following 10 forms of information. Complete contact information, make and model of the ship in question, as well as any modifications made to the ship by one of our approved mechanics. Additionally, we require the authorized servicing dealer's contact information, a description of the issues with your component, the resolution you are seeking, monetarily or full replacement, and a signed copy of our information release waiver. Claimants will also need to submit ship logs for the duration the part or parts in question were used, contact information for the three previous owners, and our customer satisfaction guarantee waiver. May I continue? It sounds like you're interested in hearing more. We have several tiers of warranty. Please listen closely as terms and conditions may have changed. Our Power Plant Plus plan provides coverage for an essential list of components related to engines, thrusters, and life support systems and starts at only 50,000 credits. Our Diamond Select plan includes everything in the Power Plant Plus plan with the exception of air conditioning and water recycling, as well as defense systems, limited to non-lethals, as well as bow to stern shield coverage for 100,000 credits. Our Platinum Elite plan includes everything in the Power Plant Plus plan and the Diamond Select plan, excluding thruster bells but including air conditioning, as well as a personal service agent, and starts at only 200,000 credits. Do any of these plans fit your needs or budget? We also have financing plans with excellent interest rates starting at 18.9%. It sounds like you don't have the funds to purchase a plan right now. Please contact one of our agents for information about financing. Most ships don't engage us. 
Whether it's respect for our religious beliefs or the fact that we carry only passengers, I don't know. Have you ever felt something spiritual while traveling the stars? I've jumped dozens of times and I still don't know I've had the revelation that Keeper Aquilus describes. But I'll keep jumping. I completely agree. It was a pleasure talking with you. We have to be going. But I hope God watches over you out there in the stars. Fine. You know what, Robin? Fine. You win. I'll ask this random stranger in the depths of space if they know how to get where we're going better than I do. Unknown ship, you read me? Hey, I... That's because we did jump past it. Robin, can you go five minutes without interrupting me? Maybe if you listen to me every once in a while, I wouldn't have to interrupt you. Yes, yes we do. I am so sorry about this. Some of us get a little testy when we're in the wrong. <laughs> in the wrong, my ass. They're gonna say it's ahead of us. You watch. <laughs> well, we'll just see about that, won't we? You see, John? <laughs> I told you. Fine, fine, you were right. That make you happy? Shh. Uh, I'm never gonna hear the end of this. Thanks for your help. Make your way. Hey, contact Charlie 3. That's you. Charlie 3. Hi. I, I got some information for you. Uh, please, uh, acknowledge. I got something nice to meet you. Bye, Charlie 3. Hi. Just doing my daily paying it forward. Avoid the Altair system. Not big time. Sure. So, I'm doing my rounds, uh, pick up supply drops, and I grab into the Altair system, and <laughs> oh boy! Spacers all over the damn place. A distress call, yammering nonstop. Some big's going down there, and all of us with no skin in the game? Yes, we just give it a wide berth. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> I skedaddled as soon as my grab drive could spin up, but, uh, yeah. Lucky. Bye, Charlie 3. You've been like the best Charlie 3 I've talked to all week. glad to find you. Our ship's in bad shape. We managed to land, but we're in need of repairs. You wouldn't happen to have any spare ship parts, would you? We can probably jury rig a fix on our own. We made the wrong jump and got attacked by the Crimson Fleet. We're not equipped for combat, so the ship took a pretty bad beating. It's a miracle. We even managed to land in one piece. But now we need to do some repairs if we're gonna get back home. Yeah, if you spot any, we could really use it. Hello. Did you manage to find anything? We're really in dire straits here. Wow, thanks, stranger. I really appreciate it. I know how hard it is to survive out here. I promise you, we won't let this go to waste. 